most people allow patterns to tell them what to be. But because of the way I play the game, because of the way I play the game, I don't have to look for trends. I can look for elongated data. Jose, you heard the word I just used? Elongated data, meaning data that has been used over a long period of time. How the second half of the year performs in the election year? So 83% of the times, the second half of the year is higher uh, with a 7.3% return from July to December in the election year. This is good. This is good for you to see. Right? The second half of the year in the election year normally is higher by 83% of the times and it normally gives us a 7% return. So if this is right, on average, we should get a 21% Maybe 21, pushing 22% return on the S&P by the end of the year. If the, now remember, this is based on since 1928. So that means you've had some years where it knocked through the roof, some years where it didn't. So this is on average, right? This is on average. So don't come to me saying, Trap said the market was going to give up 15% and then do that and they don't know what he's talking about. On average means... It combines all the years together, the ups, the downs, and it gives us a number based on what happened. You feel me? So the S&P just recorded its best first half of an election year since 1976. Y'all know I'm a data person. If anything, this is why y'all should love watching this show, because y'all get a stock history lesson. You feel me? Like, I be giving some data, dog, and I be wanting y'all to know this. Like, I take real pride in giving y'all research in these shows. You feel me? I take real pride in giving y'all research that y'all can use and be like, oh, okay, I, I get that. All right, so watch this. The S&P 500 has just recorded its best first half of an election year since 1976, rising 15%, meaning this is the best year that we, this is the best first half of a year since 1976, all right? You give us 15% in the first half. Historically, a 10-plus rally in the first half of the year was followed by a 7.7% in the second half of the year. So that's kind of on point, right? The median in return, meaning on average, it is given 7.3 on average, but this goes a little further and says, historically, anytime we get a 10 plus percent return in the first half of the year, the second half of the year, we get 7%. Trap, why are you always telling me historical numbers? Because the data allows you to position yourself in the market. Okay? The data allows you, so... Most people allow patterns to tell them what to be. But because of the way I play the game, because of the way I play the game, I don't have to look for trends. I can look for elongated data. Jose, you heard the word I just used? Elongated data, meaning data that has been used over a long period of time. Right? So the elongated data says, watch this trap. Watch this, people. That based on, now, every situation is different, but based on the data, I have the opportunity to be bullish for the second half of the year. Okay? Listen to me again. Trap. Why were you? So, people, re so, it's not by happenstance. That's another word, Jose. You ain't listening. You ain't listening, Jose. It's not by happenstance that I was super aggressive in the beginning of the year. Because the data told me that in an election year, the market is up 89% of the time. That's what the data told me. So if I'm going to base my decision on data and emotion, 
Now, we know that the market goes up 76% of the time. Right? So we already optimistic. But then we went to this, Jose. We went to a isolated... <laughs> Come on, Jose! Come on, you see the words I'm pitching? You got to be grabbing them, dog. Right? We went into isolated historical data, Jose. Come on. Isolated, meaning a specific event. Election. Just let me put my fucking glass on this. <laughs> I don't feel like he paying me no attention when I don't got the glasses on, bro. Right? We went into an isolated... Jose, we use elongated data, then we double back with happenstance, and then we follow that with isolated. Come on, bro. Come on, I'm broke, baby. Ah, I ain't got no money. Come on, man. Everything with the gun. Come on, Jose. Catch up, mustard. Come on. Catch up, mustard. Come on, man. He slipping, you know hear I me? Mean? He wasn't on me. All right, so watch this, y'all. Watch this. At the same time, watch this. This is important because I always look at, remember, when we research the market, we want to see both sides, the good and the bad, because anytime you only know the good about some research, you are handicapped. Anytime you only know the good, you have handicapped yourself. So hear me out. According to the same research and time frame, I wrote this out, the maximum pullback or drawback is 8%. So even though we've seen that, we have seen in the middle of that, we've seen a drawback. Right? Watch this. During an election year, the S&P has seen the average gain of 4% since 1950. And the second half has seen a market return of about 4.8%. So what it's saying is we've had pullbacks. We can expect a pullback because the market don't just do what? Run. We can expect a pullback somewhere in there of around 8%. So that means we get somewhere between five and eight. We can get that. Which means we're going to look at what? September. Somebody right now is charging y'all 19.97 for this, man. Position yourself. This is why it's truly important for you to get the options masterclass. It is truly important for you to get the trap and the birthday sale. Here's why. Because if we notice the second half of the year, that's why it's amazing you getting the Patreon. The second half of the year, here's what I know. Trap going to be bullish the second half of the year. Why? Because he's data-driven. Every week, I hope you learn something about me. Trap loves data. He's not going to be emotionally led, but he loves data. He's going to move based on with the data. And if I'm wrong, I'm wrong because I follow the data. And I'm okay with that. Because when I'm wrong, if I follow the data now, watch this. My innate nature says... Okay, let me pull here. Let me tweak here. That's how I make my tweaks. That's how I make my adjustments. All right, watch this. Watch this. Here we go. So here's what we know. Trap is going to be bullish for the second half of the year because we can expect a 7.3% return. On average. And then we know that September, because September, we got the Quad winching, we can expect it. We can expect that big pullback. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna position ourselves. We're gonna position ourselves. We're gonna see what we can do in July, but we don't gotta go crazy in August. In July, what we need to be doing is writing down what are the plays. The players we want. August, we need to be saying, what are the prices that they've been hitting? We need to be writing them down, logging them, logging them. Because here's what you think. Most people think they can just get in the game and knock it out the park. But they don't understand that the preparation, the preparation positions you for profit. 
You didn't understand. The preparation positions you for profit. Okay, so what are we doing, Trap? It's simple. Whatever plays win right now in July, we're going to let them run. If Trap can get it, we can get in a couple other plays right there, we good, but it, we don't have to go all in. We can get us a nice position because here's what we do know. We can get the momentum, see where the pullback's at, write them down, and then September, we can sit on our hands. So then we come late September and we revert right back to the plays that we already was looking at and see what were the price points that they were hitting. We now do the formula that Trap told us. The formula, nine times out of ten, will lead us right back to one of those prices that the stock has already hit. Why? Because the stock has already hit familiar territory. It's always going to go back to where it was familiar with. It's how the market moves. The market looks for familiar territory. So, we can use doom, boom. We use those stock prices that are already hit as our new strike prices. We, we find out our dates based on what the formula says. If we're going to get in it, I'm going to be real with you. If you're going to free game, if you're going to get it in September, October, it's best to give yourself six months. You know why? Because you now can get the beginning of the year rally. You can eat off that Santa Claus rally and you can go right into April and May.